Good day, I'm Brigitte Seve, member of Group 3 from BSN1B. Today, I'll conduct a return demonstration and administering the intradermal injection. So, first thing to do is the assessment. In assessment, we assess the appearance of the injection site, the specific drug action and the expected response, the client's knowledge of drug action and response, and also check the agency protocol about sites to use for skin tests. So, next is assemble all the equipment and supplies needed for this procedure. So I have here the medication administration record or the computer printout, the vial of correct medication, the sterile syringe calibrated into hundreds of milliliter and the gauge needle, the antiseptic swab, the sterile gauze pads, clean gloves, and also the band aid as optional. So after assembling the equipment, we come now to the checking of the medication administration record. To check the more, we check the label of the medication or the vial carefully against the more to make sure that the correct medication is being prepared. Follow the three checks for administering medications. Read the label of the medication when it is taken from the medication court before withdrawing the medication and after withdrawing the medication. So next is organize all the equipment and supplies. So after doing it, I'll now perform hand hygiene and observe other infection control procedures. Good day, ma'am. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm Bridgette Estefay, student nurse, and I'm here to demonstrate the administering of intradermal injection. So may I first verify your identity by stating your complete name, your surname, your first name, and your middle name, also your birthday and your age. I'm Christy Manuel Estefay, I'm 23 years, July 25, 2004. I'm 17 years old. Okay, may I see your wristband, ma'am? Okay, thank you. It seems that you're the patient. So... This procedure could take three to five minutes of your time. So, intradermal injection is an injection of a tiny amount of fluid into the top layer of the skin. It's usually done to test for drug sensitivity before administering larger amounts by other methods. So, ma'am, Dr. Santi has ordered a epinephrine skin test. So, this epinephrine is a hormone and neurotransmitter used to treat allergic reactions, restore cardiac rhythm, and control mucosa congestion, glaucoma, and asthma. Also, epinephrine injection is indicated in the emergency treatment of allergic reactions, including anaphylaxis testing insects like the bees, wasps, hornets, and yellow jackets. 
and the biting insects. So, do you have any allergies to medications? Mm -hmm. um, may see your arm to inspect the site. Okay, thank you. So, I've already washed my hands. Provide you a private room, which I close the door and draw the curtains. I've also observed other infection control procedures. Maybe not proceed. Yes. So, good morning, ma'am. I'm now conducting the administering of intraderma injection. So, check again the label of the medication and then wear clean gloves. Ma'am, I'm done with the procedure. Are you? How are you feeling right now? I'm fine. Okay, so after this procedure, you may experience you might experience adverse or side effects, which includes headaches, dizziness, nausea, and other things. So I'll now document all the relevant information, including the the time of the administration, the drug name, the dose, the route, and the client's reactions. So I also need to assess the effectiveness of the medication at the time it is expected to act. So I'll now go record and report, wash my hands, and clean the supplies and equipment in order to lessen the contamination in this area. So thank you for your cooperation, and you may now relax and rest. <laughs> 